Hey, Jesse. Hey, Chris. How are you doing? Hey, what's going on? I knew, like, like you're a Marine. Like, so you weren't going to let some peddly little technical challenge uh, defeat no, you. No, there was no way. There was no way. I apologize for the delay, but there was no way I wasn't getting on here. That's all right. Uh, improvise, uh, adapt, and overcome. Adapt and um, overcome. <laughs> how, uh, what's your business look like today? Today, I'm actually, believe it or not, driving around trying to get some numbers on a uh, elderly care facility that we recently acquired with one of our partners. Um, so at the moment, we're actually uh, trying to go ahead and get some numbers in terms of how much the competition is charging per square uh, per room. Um, so we have an idea of what we're going to bring to the table in terms of uh, bringing in some of our investment partners in on it. So uh, today is data collecting. Collecting some data right now to go ahead and put a, a proposal together for some of my partners. This is a multifamily? This is an elderly care facility. Um, so oh, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, 12 okay, okay. facility, um, close to the heart of Houston, in the heart of downtown Houston. Uh, based off of the numbers that I've seen, it looks pretty exciting. So this is why we're trying to go ahead and get all the data points uh, in black and white. Go ahead and get them out there. But yeah, kind of excited about this one. It's looking like one of those, those sharks, one of those big whales. So overall, your business, so what does your business look like? Um, in actuality, I focus primarily in, in residential uh, market in terms of investments as well as a traditional realtor. Um, so I came up on board with EXP to go ahead and have the flexibility and ability to do both by being focused primarily in one. So, uh, yeah, if I'm a seller, I'm sales agent, I'm a listing agent. So if anybody has a property, you know, you can go ahead and get it listed in the Houston area. I'm, I can be your guy. I'm also really deep in the wholesale market as well as uh, on the investment side. So, yeah, I guess I'm trying to become a jack of all trades when it comes to this game. <laughs> well, you're a professional at selling houses, so uh, not not every house needs to be sold the same way. Um, and of course, investments. Really, every real estate agent should be involved in investments. Unfortunately, that's not true, but uh, they should be. Um, I how are you introduced to EXP Realty? Um, believe it or not, uh, it's one of the good things, right? So I remember. Uh, doing some research about it, um, kind of having an idea of, excuse me, just ringing in my ear, kind of having an idea of exactly how I wanted to go ahead and have the freedom necessary to, to even go ahead and still focus on the investment side as well as the traditional side. And through all the research that I did, um, Cutter Williams, I actually have a, a mentor of mine. I said Cutter Williams tried to bring me on over there. Um, but again, just comparing the benefits and Speaking to Charlie, uh, Charlie Cameron pretty much was the one that convinced me to go ahead and give EXP a, a, a bigger viewpoint. Saw the presentation and I was sold. How how has um, EXP impacted your business since coming on board? It's an, an, I mean, it's been very beneficial. I can't hurt. Very beneficial. One of the first of the is since I am a licensed realtor, I'm able to go ahead and present to a lot of clients multiple options that some of my counterparts can't, right? I understand the investment side, which is where I kind of came from. So whenever I encounter individuals who are in a situation where they have a distressed property and they're looking like the walls are closing in, I have the ability to provide options, not just for the investment capacity, but also as a traditional realtor, what they could go ahead and do to get the property up to market value or what they could get for that property if they listed it. So it's allowed me to go ahead and increase my client intake so much so that I'm currently right now, as you know, trying to build the team up so I can start distributing some of these leads. Definitely. And so the collaboration, like in, in another world, um, no, not necessarily another world, um, outside of EXP, the likelihood of me and you collaborating would have been very low. It's not that I wouldn't be happy collaborating with you. It's just that opportunity to actually do so would have been low. There's just not really a lot of opportunity there. But instead, with EXP and the way the model is set up, like not only can we collaborate, and but we didn't directly meet. We met through another person, like your sponsor. Correct. Um, so that's what's allowed. Like now, me and you can collaborate because you're actually in in my hometown, even though yeah. uh, I didn't sponsor you in the HB, and you're also an investor too. And uh, we've connected, and I've, uh, you, you pitched some deals to me that I that I've looked at, yeah. and uh, uh, haven't bought any. I'm waiting for the right one. <laughs> I got you. They're, they're coming. I'm gonna keep sending them your way. Hey, hey. Uh, uh, I need some more rentals. So, um, especially in the southwest okay. side of Houston, definitely looking forward to those. But so the, the collaboration. Talk to me about that. Um, how has that 
helped you or had any type of in, impact in your in your business, whether retail or investing? Again, it's, been, it's instrumental. You're, you're talking about the ability to, to reach out to individuals who are where I'm eventually trying to get to, who've been in the industry for quite some time. Um, the ability to go ahead and do not both the investment side, the traditional real estate side. And I've encountered some individuals right now, to include yourself, that, that dabble into the commercial side. And that was something I really wasn't looking into before. But ESP has given me access to individuals who have accomplished what I am hoping to accomplish one day. So when you kind of have those kind of mentors, you know, at your disposal, it's made my, my, my turning point for educating myself on some of these aspects just skyrocket. Now there's things that I knew now since coming with ESP that I wouldn't have known over the last couple of years. So it's it's been a huge benefit to myself. And of course, the training that I'm not doing for my team allows me to pass on some of that knowledge that I'm getting from, again, the mentors that I've had a, the pleasure of being able to have conversations with. And it's just an interesting observation because what EXP really did was they took down the walls. So at any other brokerage, it's not like you can't talk to them. It's just the, the, the incentive and just the overall spirit of the organization is different. Like everyone's right. running their own individual businesses, and, and why would you want to share something with your direct competitor? Especially, I mean, if they're in a different state or whatever, maybe to, maybe you're a little bit more loose with information. Right. But if they're in your hometown, like they're they're not telling you they're they're ninja secrets. Like, why would they want to do that? But with EXP, it's you know because we're one brokerage, one flag. We're all shareholders, and collaboration is part of our core values. The spirit seems differently. And Kelly and Dale on earlier, uh, offline, she has talked to me very deeply about that from another big brand, um, right. just saying how different it is. But that with EXP is now how you know, we can have very good conversations and whether it's flipping houses or raising private money or uh, and some, some ninja secrets, get, getting listings in a exactly. low inventory. Exactly. It's been nothing but instrumental in the growth. It's a matter I've had so far. So what should other folks um, that, that are considering the EXP, what should they really, um, really think about before making a final decision? I think one of the biggest things is the fact that for, for, for what this brokerage provides, to include the mentorship, the uh, KB Core is an amazing CRM that I would have never even engaged in not for EXP. Them bringing that along as well as a free asset has made the traditional side of my business move significantly smoother. Uh, to me, I, I think the biggest thing is the direct access to, to individuals in which you would want to go ahead and partner up with, learn from, and have, have conversations with. Like, like you said before, the walls have been taken down. Uh, and I think when you're able to go ahead and being in the military, whenever I've been able to have a conversation with a leader as to what expectations were and how to go ahead and, and focus my, my attention and direction, I've always done right by that leader and done what the, the unit needed me to do. With EXP, it's very similar in the fact that I can go ahead and know what my goals are speak to somebody who's done it before based off of the bio or conversations I've had with them and they're willing to share that information. So now I can attack and know, okay, well, this is what I need to do. That to me is a huge benefit, especially as a veteran that's transitioned and gotten to the real estate game because it's very similar to what I was accustomed to to get me successful in the military. So I've aligned it with that. I mean, I've played sports. You need coaches. All players need coaches. And EXP does right across the board when it comes to making sure we have all the tools we need to succeed. And it doesn't hurt that we become shareholders as well. So we also benefit when they benefit off of our profits. Uh, it's literally the only win-win situation in terms of the other brokerages that I've, I've kind of looked into prior to the joint. Yeah, and I don't know what it is about veterans too, um, because there's so, there's so many veterans on the team. There um, are, there are. You know, you're one of many. Um, I, I don't know if real estate tends to be a, a, a common transition for veterans or not, but um, all the ones I know, they're just killing it, uh, which is, I'm sure it's a huge testament to the leadership of our, our United States military. So love it and um, appreciate your service and uh, you, look always, forward yes. to hanging out with you and um, doing a deal together. It's coming. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep sending them your way. You can't tell me no forever. I'm going to keep sending no, them your no. way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get one. All right, All right. Talk to you soon, Jesse. Appreciate you, Chris.